So the next one is called Ripples in the Pond. And it talks about the innocence of childhood. And it talks about the billions and zillions of things and uh, thoughts that run through the mind of a child or even an adult, any anyone that, that never makes it out to people. This is for the people who, who are unable to connect with uh, the people around them or the things around them, but they have so much, so much to say and so much to, uh, you know, kind of communicate, but it never happens and it just stays there. Mm -hmm. uh, so I hope you will uh, connect with this and enjoy it, hopefully. Uh, yeah, I think that's it. Uh, it's called Ripples in a Pond. written on water, my thoughts, like ripples in a pond, trying to speak to the child who stood by the bank, fascinated at what he had done with a little pebble that he picked up on his way home. It was art, sublime, visible only to the eyes of the child, whose heart was pure and whose mind was free of doubts. He stood there in awe as one after the other, the ripples grew bigger and bigger, reaching out to him. He could hear them now, as he leaned closer to the surface. But all he could hear were whispers, nothing more, indistinguishable from the rustling leaves of the nearby tree. As he tried again, the innocent child, all he could hear were whispers, and it broke his little heart. The sun was setting dark red in the distance, and it was time for the child to go home. He turned, knelt by the bank, leaned closer to the surface of the pond, and said, I will be back. Hang in there, my friend.